Oh my gosh! So he... Oh, okay, hold on. What's up everyone, Andrew here, and welcome to another reaction video. If this is your first time stopping by the channel or seeing one of these videos, I wanted to say welcome and thank you so much for dropping by. If you don't know, I'm a guitar player of 14 years and I make K-pop guitar covers and other forms of K-pop content here on YouTube. If you like what I'm doing and you haven't already, it would be amazing if you would consider liking, subscribing, and hitting the bell icon. There are three really simple things, but they go a long way to help out this channel. But anyways, today is a really, really good day, especially if you're a carrot, because I'm reacting to Hot by Seventeen. Now, before we begin, I do need to make a little bit of a confession. I'm about two weeks behind on reacting to this song and working on the cover that will eventually be released for Hot. Literally the day this music video, this song, the mini album dropped, I moved from the East Coast, where I've been living for two years, to LA. So obviously, big life change there uh, and I've been busy for the last two weeks getting moved in, getting settled, getting everything squared away uh, so I am just now getting around to this song but I have yet to hear it. I've literally heard the first like two or three seconds of this song uh, I was driving the car listening to a K-pop playlist on Spotify and it played and I immediately fast forward to the next song. Uh, but I have not yet watched this music video or listened to any of the songs for the sole purpose of doing this video. Now I love Seventeen and I would 100% consider myself a carrot. I actually have the carrot bomb back there along with quite a number of their albums that I've been able to afford because <laughs> there's a lot of them but I'm trying to play catch up. And uh, I love everything about the music. The vocals are amazing. The choreo is crisp and they're always in sync and it's amazing. Um, the writing and production for their songs is incredible and of course they have really, really beautiful, really dynamic music videos. My bias is DK, but also Vernon in rotation. So it's like one day it'll be DK, one, one day it'll be Vernon and they're pretty much on rotation in the bias and bias record spots for me. And if you didn't know this already, I've actually already covered a few of Seventeen songs. So if you're interested in watching those guitar covers, please make sure to stay to the end of the video and check out the Seventeen covers playlist that I'll put at the end. But enough talking, it's been painful enough waiting to watch this music video. So let's just go ahead and dive in and see what it's all about. Wait, okay, <laughs> hold on. Before we get in, we're only five seconds in. We've got like spaghetti western style guitar. And I'm pretty sure that's Vernon starting out the song. And like these really cool, like the, the I don't even know what, that, what that's called, but it's like melting upwards, melting, melting upwards. That's a, definitely a technical, <laughs> opinion there but it's so cool it looks so cool uh but yeah it's really exciting to watch one of these music videos and like right out of the gate know that i'm gonna have a guitar part to cover so uh i i know exactly what guitar i'm gonna use already and i know what effects i'm gonna use for this part of the song as well so it's gonna be awesome i can tell oh no What? What was what was the A doing there? It's there's so much going on and it's, it's so good. What the, and the, the guitar is going throughout the entire thing. That's so interesting. All right, we, I gotta go back. There's, there's so much happening. Was Vernon? Was Vernon smoking a bullet? And then the bullet went through the sign that says darling and the cinematography like the 
the color, the color grading on this so far, I'm going to nerd out already. I'm only like freaking 30 seconds into this video, but it looks, it looks so good. Like the lighting and the color grading and everything. Oh, well done. Well done to the production team filming this. This, oh, amazing. I'm so I can't So good. All of the trains. Oh, what? The transitions? Kiko's vocals. And he looks amazing. Is this, is this Scoops with long hair? Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my. There's so. Ah. Oh my goodness. There's so much going on! Oh my goodness! What was that? The little echo effect that they did? Oh my gosh! Okay. And we all need to agree, Woozy has an amazing voice. I mean, they all have amazing voices. I, so I can't discredit the rest of them, but like, oh, I love Woozy's voice. What is happening? I guess I do. Wait. Is that a clear? Is that a clear shirt? That is a bullet. Wow. Okay. When it gets hard, like what? Oh no! Not the guitar! Okay. First impressions in every way, shape, and form, that was amazing. <laughs> I, okay, so obviously I'm not talking during the first uh, watch through as I normally would because there's so, it's like almost overstimulation. Like there's so many cuts and there's so much going on in the music video and there's so much going on in the music, like it, the actual music track. And it's just, it's, it's overwhelmingly good. <laughs> it's, it's over, like that's, that's my, my first thought is overwhelmingly good. All of the members look amazing. Scoops with long hair is, it's good. It's, it's a good look for him. Um, and 
I, I mean, like the vocals, the rapping, like everything is just mind-blowingly good. Um, like I feel like I'm getting to watch this through at like half speed. <laughs> It's like 20 more times to catch everything that's happening. But there's so many like creative uses of video editing in this to, to make like an artistic style and to make things work the way that they do. So I'm gonna go back and watch through it again and let's break some of that down. Oh, man, that shot is so cool. The way that they slowed down that shot just a little bit, oh, it the, the, it made the delivery so much more dynamic and entertaining. I, oh, I love that. Okay, so this is something that's really cool, and I love when music video editors do this, or uh, just film or TV editors do this in general. So if you notice, one second. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to catch it. It's so fast. Let's see. Okay, this is really cool. All right, I'm gonna nerd out. I'm gonna nerd out for a second. Okay, so this is really cool. Obviously, music video is in widescreen. You got the you've got the litter boxes, the bars on the, the bottom and the top of the screen. But if you notice that face the sun and some of the other uh, like when they do the scribble effects and everything, you'll notice that they're actually overlapping with the letter boxes. And I think that's really, really cool and really creative because everything's contained, right? You have all these different shots leading up to this and everything's contained. And then all of a sudden, like the, the text and the scribbles jump out at you. And I think it's really cool, but, and it's a really subtle way to create more dynamics and to make things pop. Because as a, as a human, because of all of the movies and all of the TV and everything we've seen before, we don't expect things to overlap or, or be over top of those black bars because normally it's contained. But I love that. I, I love when editors do that because it's a way of just like making things pop right out at you for just a split second and then it goes away. So really, really cool. I love that. So one thing musically from a music standpoint that I really love is that there's that beat that they have going through the, out, the like the whole first part of the song and then the guitar is going dun, 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 it's got there's like this guitar motif going pretty consistently this whole time right and then when DK's part hits here everything drops out it kind of um, it, it gives a nice break uh, rhythmically and musically like harmonically to what is already happening in the song so up until now even the music video is just like going and going and going. The, chord, the chords change um, and it's just like this kind of spaced out percussion there and there's like that big cymbal crash at the beginning to like help almost like cleanse your palate, if you will, uh, auditorily, you know, with, with what's been happening. And it's a break because everything's been going and going and going so far. So I love that. And I love the the coin, the the sound effect of the coin, and then the coin uh, in the music video. That's that's super cool. I love that. And I love that they used it as a transition too. It's like it's so cool because okay, we're gonna let, let me slow it down. Okay, so. If you notice when the coin comes up, it doesn't quite cover the whole screen, right? It's a lot of the screen and it's really in your face. And then because it, it takes your eye and it trains your eye on the coin flipping, with one of the rotations, all of a sudden the screen behind it uh, changes and it turns, you know, it changes to scoops, you know, catching the coin. That's such a cool transition. And if you watched my reaction video for uh, ATEEZ's Rocky Boxers version, which you totally should after this video, of course, <laughs> uh, you'll, you'll remember that I talked about them using that white transition with the storage crates. And this is not the same, but it's very similar. And, it, and it's a way to trick the eye. Like you register a change hap happening, but instead of just like, cutting, just having a hard cut from one scene to the other. This is a really creative way to one, 
uh, change while having a focal point, your, your eye on a single focal point, and then two, tying the two scenes together because obviously the coin is flipping from one scene to the other and it also signifies visually that they're about to enter another part of the song uh, itself. So uh, I, I can't say enough, like 17 has such a good history of just having phenomenal music videos and I, I can't say enough good things about the cinematography and the editing. I mean, like the music stands for itself, but people really don't need to overlook how beautiful and how incredible these music videos are. So anyways, let's keep going. And then if you notice, this is something I didn't notice before. The widescreen goes away. When DK takes the thing, which I don't know what that is, but he takes it off of his eyes, the widescreen bars go away. <sighs> That's so cool. Anyways, oh, man, this is so cool. Oh, that was oh, another amazing transition. Hold on. I don't even know who that was who kicked whatever. I don't even know what was kicked, but it's like... Whatever, a rock or whatever, it turns into the fire. Oh my gosh, that's cool. Oh, and then the, the echo, oh my gosh, the echo effect. Wait, wait, what? What just happened? It looks like Woozy is holding that revolver against his own shadow and the shadow gets darker. Oh, oh, what? Oh my gosh. So he, oh, okay, hold on. Okay, so he, he's holding the, hold on, I need, to, I need to turn on the captions too because I feel like there's something going on that in, in the lyrics that's matching the choreo right here. They do that a lot too, hold on. That makes so much sense. Okay, mind blown, mind blown. Okay, so he's he's holding the revolver at his shadow. The shadow gets darker, and then he's talking about his shadow cast. And is that June I don't want one more on the ground? Like mirroring the oh my gosh, that's so cool. Oh, mirroring his his movement. Oh my gosh. Oh, what? Hold on. And then his shadow turns into scoops. Guys, what? What did I tell you about the cinematography? This is so freaking cool. Oh, I want to watch that transition one more time. Oh, gosh, that's so cool. And then the, the it's, it rips like a sheet. As, as they're, ah. Oh my gosh. It's shots like these that you realize another member is slowly coming for your bias spot. <laughs> and then my bias, yeah, is actually on screen. The guitar is back. Oh, the, the, I'm not gonna try it, but the arm thing, you know? I love that, I love that move in choreo. <sighs> okay, obviously there, there's so much happening in this song um, and, and there's so much happening in the cinematography. Obviously, I've been nerding out this whole time pretty much about the music video itself. I think the song itself, it's just extremely well done. Like it's just a solid song really, really fun to listen to. It's got that main kind of beat and it's just like a great beat to like dance to. 
like to enjoy while you're driving or something. And then I love that the way that they signify changes from part to part is by adding and taking away instruments. While the, most of the song remains relatively uh, the same harmonically with the chord structure and even the parts that continue to come in and out. It really is, is a very simple, straightforward song for the most part, but they do a really good job of taking parts away, like during the second half of the choruses, adding that guitar back in as like a rhythmic element uh, to, to build dynamically. I love it, and, and I think this song is really fun. I think it's really catchy, uh, and I'm, I, I'm gonna have to go listen to it more times without the music video in front of me to really pick out what's going on musically. And obviously that'll be reflected in my cover because I, when I do these covers, I try to pick up the little subtleties of the song and amplify those through the guitar. So stay tuned for that cover. It is 100% coming very, very soon. So make sure you keep your eyes peeled for that. This is gonna be such a fun song to cover, especially because there's already guitar parts in there. But man, this is a treat. And I think this music video, like by itself, separated from the song, is just a masterpiece, a masterclass even in editing and cinematography and color grading and using really creative like motion graphics and transitions. Like I could, I could probably watch this music video a hundred more times and still pick out new things. So man, this was a treat. This was such a treat. I love it, uh, 1000 out of 10 for both the song, the vocals, the rapping, all of that stuff, and the choreo. The, cho oh, the choreo was amazing, uh, but also for the music video. I, I loved that entire experience so much. Now, obviously, in just one or two passes of watching this music video, I can't pick up on everything. I really wish I could, but there's so much going on that like, I'm obviously gonna miss parts of the choreo. I'm obviously gonna miss vocal cues and stuff that were really incredible. Uh, so if you have a favorite part of this music video or of this song uh, that I did not hit, please let me know in the comments. And if you can, leave timestamps uh, for the music video, the actual music video, not this video, uh, so that I can go back and re-watch some of these things and see it from your perspective. I would love to hear what you love about it. I would love to hear about the parts that stand out to all of y'all. So please, if you have the time, drop a comment below and let me know what your favorite parts were. But I'm gonna stop things here and go get started on this cover because I am so excited to get a guitar in my hands and start learning this song. Like I said in the beginning, if you haven't already and you really enjoy what I'm doing here, please consider liking, subscribing, and hitting the bell icon. They really do help. I know thousands of YouTubers ask you to do this every time you watch one of their, you know, their videos, but seriously, it does actually help and it means the world to me. But there are many more reaction videos, covers, and other forms of content that I haven't published yet coming your way. So make sure you stay tuned for those. But until next time, I'm Andrew and I'll see you then.